Hello, my name is Jupiter Hadley, and today we're doing another version of GP Plays All the Games, this time with the One Bit Clicker Jam. The One Bit Clicker Jam challenged developers to create a clicker game, or an idle game, or an incremental game using one bit only, the mouse as input, and eight bit chiptune sounds. I've been playing all of the games that were entered the jam for about a minute each. Links to the individual games will be in the description, so you can check them out further, and all my info will also be in the description, so you can check me out as well. Thank you very much for watching and liking and commenting. At the end, I'll probably have an article of my favorite, so keep a lookout for that. Next, we're playing City Clickers, the quintessential Sim City clone, but not really. Let's start a new game. Welcome, this is your city. Build it as you see fit. But remember, you can only place buildings next to roads. Some buildings, like houses, shops, and factories, generate income, while others, such as water towers and parks and roads, cost money to maintain. It's up to you to manage a fine balance between prosperity and total chaos. Please note this is an early version of the game. Blah, 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 blah. This is the jam version. I know I'm a bit late when it comes to sort of doing this, playing this game, I suppose. Showing the needs of the house. Alright, this is money. We have some money, though. What are you? Zoom. Well, let's build mode. Right here. Make a road. Oh, and then we click to build the road. I'm also going to build road here. And then here. Nope. Let's build a shop. Because I think shops are important. And we should also build, you know reserve. Probably not next to the shop, but uh, it's happened. Alright. So. Right click for information. Yes, Mayor. Okay. Water usage. Alright. And then we've got this. Rent two per day. I need water and employment. Uh, well, we've got water now. And I mean, technically, you can do yourself a favor and work at the shop, I guess. We're gonna clear this tree. Oh, put a road there. Do you still have... No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 Right click. What are your needs? Employment. You can't work at the shop? Okay, well let's pretend you can't work at the shop for whatever reason. Can you work at the market? Is a market the same thing as the shop? No. Oh, yeah, I have to click a lot. Alright, well, dude. No, 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 no. Employment. Where can you be employed? Alright, shop. Didn't like it. Market. Factory. Oh, of course, we could employ you in a factory. I was gonna let you have a shop job, but I guess not. Okay. Now, are you happy? No, I don't want to do you. No. Empl why? No. <laughs> Fucking. How do I give you a job? There's one person there. Their needs are not meant met. Um, and I don't know how to give them what they want, really, to be completely honest. Because I'm losing a lot of money. And I tried to give them... I can put a factory right next to their house, but that seems very bad. Factories provide jobs in a certain radius. Oh. Where is your radius? Um, alright, well... Let's make sort of a back road. This is going to take quite some time. <laughs> Surely if we put a factory right here, I know it's like a second factory, then you will be employed and you will be happy and pay me rent, <laughs> which is something you need to do. Yep, you have employment. Congrats. All good. All right, good. Your rent's gone up. Have fun. <laughs> This is a very well made game. It's quite fun. Next. We're playing Fairy Song. It says gamepad supported, so I've got a gamepad, it's an Xbox 360 controller. Man, these games look lovely right off the bat. Oh, okay. Alright. I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Oh, okay. What do I do? Who knows? I'm an adorable little fairy. 
There was like a black edge. No, it's fine. Okay. Another world over here, though. I don't want to stray too far from my main world if I'm meant to be there. Wow. Look at this environment. Oh, hi. So it's just some like little world that almost looks like a swing. Some little world to explore. There's like another rock over here. It's got some beautiful graphics. I'm not sure what our goal is, but I like moving around, uh, like flying, and I like exploring. Cool. Next. We're playing Click to Survive. So we went to work. No, that's our inventory. I don't know why I thought that meant work. Maybe this means work? I don't know if we would need to work. I just assume that that's what you do in your day-to-day -day life. You found nothing. Okay. I seem hungry. Let's go to work. Oh, I should probably, this is what I need to do. Click. All day. And then when I'm done clicking, I can go home. So that's like my time, I think. So I'll go home. You found nothing. We've got nothing in our inventory. Let's try another day. Go to building. Am I robbing places? I might be robbing places. Oh, I think I found something. Ah, so you died. So I do need to escape. Weird. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can find something. So we found two things. We found a knife and we found an apple. Um, so my inventory. We obviously want to probably eat the apple. Let's consume it. I think I'm gonna keep the knife? How do I keep the knife? Destroyed. Oh, I didn't want to destroy it. I wanted to see if I could use it in the house for some reason. I don't want to kill anyone though, so maybe it's good. Next. We're playing at Kingdom Clicker. Uh, add a worker, remove a worker. What? Add one, remove one, upgrade tool. The add one and remove one are the same. So we'll just figure this out. Alright. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, this makes sense. Ooh, I clicked out of the box. So we need more wood, probably. We need more food. Coins, ten. How many coins do we have? Coins. Income. Click on this, maybe? Need more wood. Does this help me get more wood? Just adding a worker to this. I have no workers doing stone. I see. We're just managing workers. I don't know why I assume that I can just click a load of stuff and hope it happens. I don't even know how many coins I have. 26. I have 26 coins. Let's upgrade you. Let's upgrade you. Let's upgrade you. Coins? Yeah, I have enough coins. Coins. Wood. I need wood to upgrade you. Uh, I need food to upgrade you. So this is a lot of waiting. I like the old Game Boy aesthetic. The sound is very nice. A lot of these clickers are very polished. I'm normally not a fan of clickers, but I've been having a good time so far. You just wait. Wait for more people to manage. And more food. Cool. Next. We're playing Idle Invaders. Save Earth. Okay. So we're killing things. Ammunition 1. I feel like we did it. Every click you make moves the game forward by one second. Okay. We can't really buy anything. I, d I want to be slow. Because I don't want to fuck things up. So do we also have to like destroy these? No. Shields. Don't have enough money for them. Don't have enough money for this. How much cash at 450? Okay. 
This is a really cool concept. Are you actually getting hurt? No, you're fine. I want to buy more upgrades, but I guess we need to destroy some stuff first. So this game is as fast or as slow as you want to make it. You can also ki click in between things, which is quite cool. By big, sure. Look at that. Let's buy some new ammunition. Neat game. Oh, the ammo factory is destroyed. I guess it's all these blocks coming on it. Mm, I should have paid more attention. Next. We're playing my creature. Welcome. This is your creature. You have to keep it alive. If you do so, it will evolve. Take care to the food level. If it reaches zero, your creature will die. Right click to add some food. This is represented its age. It shouldn't reach zero. This is the creature's XP. Left click to add XP. This is the creature's level. If your creature dies, you win some points. Points can upgrade your lab, evolve your quick power. Alright. I don't remember which one's food, but I'm hoping we're good. So we're just clicking a lot and keeping our creature alive. That sound? That's when we click, but like sort of ticking. That's Twitter, probably. Yeah, it's opening up my Twitter, which is fine. But T might mean toy. Well, I'm gonna put it out there because I still want to see the time door. Should I click these as well? Very cute creature. I'm kind of looking forward to upgrading him though. It looks like you can get some different types of creatures as well. There's like a one-eyed one shown in the picture. Very neat. Next. We're playing Hit the Mother Load. Um, hey boss, I found it. An enormous underground hollow running kilometers deep, coated in glittering jewels. One, our brief spelunking career has paid off at last, and with zero casualties at that, swing your mighty pickaxe and collect as many gems as you can. Alright, management. That's fine. Miners. Also fine. Let's do this. Look at all this. This is clearly a far larger job than the two of us could possibly handle on our own. Do you know the location? I do know the location of a village full of strong, healthy adult kobolds who will be working with adequate pay. I'm not the best decision maker. You better be the one to decide to spend our new company's liquid asset. Luckily, I've taken a Kenobal resource course. I'll handle hiring and payroll. You just keep an eye on digging until we can afford something. Also, just FYI, uh, no, I talk a lot sometimes, okay. But I've worked out a nice little signal you can use to dismiss me for going for too long. Keep an eye on the middle mouse button whenever I talk to you. And then I can just make him shut up with the middle mouse button. Oh yeah, I do like him. Let's see. Miners. Miners cost 60. We'll hire one. Crew, they're put on this day. They earn a little bit of cash. Okay. Hi, ah, you're first hired. Their name is Crew. They're fresh out of the Cobalt College and ready to mine. Okay. Hi, bosses. For the cave, and I found some truly ar archaic mining tools, specifically a big pile of frayed ropes and short-handed steel chisels, spartly well presented despite their age. Preserved. I looked at their designs up online. It appears as though they were used nearly a millennial ago. Uh, millennium. Needless to say, I jammed my backpack full of them and delivered them to a culture center in the nearby village. That was nice. And guess what? They thanked me for my patriots. I'm practically glowing. It's high on your monitor. Oh, there's something else. Sadie, she's looking too used to this springboard to an IT position inexplicably. So Sadie's the new person that we just hired. This is pretty nice. We can hire people. We can fund people. They're making money. I like my little friend. Let's see, management. All right, so we've just got their titles, upgrades, larger pickaxes. Yeah, it's going to be a while until we get that, really. All right, next. We're playing SP SCP Clicker. Secure, click, protect. Right, click anywhere to begin. I will do. All right, so we click. You should probably get some cash. All right, we'll get funds, hire some agents, do some clicking. If the damage reaches 100%, the world will end. Hire agents to bring down the damage level. I mean, they're danger. Wow. Yeah, maybe I should be clicking cash. Let's open two savings accounts, because I have a lot of money. 
maybe three savings accounts. We'll hire a couple more agents. Hire a ton more agents because they just give me money. Be careful, don't go too negative. That's okay. Uh, complete a ritual. Okay. Got some savings accounts, so we'll go back to money. I'm getting negative money per second. Which is bad. Oh, I think it reached zero or a hundred. I think danger reached a, oh, a hundred. Yeah, because I'm stealing money probably. I don't really know how to fix this. Maybe click here. No, 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 that's not helping. We need more agents, which means we're going to have more bad things happening. Uh, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Next, we're playing Color Me Rogue. <coughs> pick a card. Now I'm gonna pick this one. Duh. Treasure. Awesome. Three gold. Pick this card. Moves. Oh, I should probably moved. Mm, that was a mistake. The monster. So we put a bat in. That's okay. All right. We've got this guy in. So we're just kind of like. Picking our moves as we go. Um, we should have probably moved. We didn't move. This is a mystery card. We can just let our cards stack up. Alright, so we got some more treasure. <clears throat> I don't want this. So, I'm going to see what happens if I let it go. Hopefully, I'll just get another card. It's another monster. I don't want another monster. I'm going to click on it anyway. Over here. Alright, so we can cast this. Oh, we killed that guy. Attack, unfortunately. There's no point in that. We can move to, like, way over. Wow, we're getting lots of cards now. Let's put slime back here. Move. Slime's moving. Move. Can kind of move around the environment. Let's go over here. One life removed. I tried to go over the bridge. All right. More treasure. Give this guy a little back. Can be over there. This is a pretty neat way to do like a turn based game. Um, instead of relying on the turn to just change. It relies on me to get movement cards. And that's not something I've played before. Ooh, look at The game changed color. Wow, it's very pretty. Next. We're playing Vogue. I'm going to type in my name. And then we can choose a portrait. There's quite a few portraits here. I'm going to pick this one. She looks badass. Welcome to Vogue. Vogue is an idle roguelike designed for one-bit clicker jam. Just start clicking anywhere to move your hero. Your hero will always kill all the enemies in a room before gathering treasure. I've played this game before. I played it for Alpha Beta Gamer because that's what I did. Eventually, you can get this game to the point where you don't even have to click. It just runs and it automatically uses uh, potions and collects treasure and stuff, fights enemies. So we got some stuff. I'm gonna permanently increase my endurance. Well, it's gonna make me stronger. <clears throat> All right, so let's kill this garbage first, this crab. Oh, stop it. So now, see, I do like two hits instead of one hit, which is great. Uh, I'm gonna do three hits instead of one hit, and I'm also gonna use a potion. I'm gonna use another potion. All right, we got some more treasure. That wasn't very much, though, so we'll just hold on to it. Alright. I should probably slow down, but I take... I do a lot more hits now. Yeah, I died. <laughs> but you get to keep all of your money and stuff, so you can sort of just, like, upgrade over time, which is quite nice, because um, now I can get some better upgrades right off the bat, and that'll help me quite a bit... You don't get the treasure back, but you still get to defeat some of the old characters. But this time, I walked a bit farther, so I have more of, like, time to get to the crab. Use a tiny potion as well. So I'm probably gonna die here. 
Yeah, I'm definitely going to die here. Um, but let's grab a tiny potion and then use it. And try to stay alive. No, we got this. Alright, I kind of also want to increase my health permanently. But yeah. Next. 